Good morning, everyone. It is our official kickoff to Bootstrap Book Club's A Place of Yes discussion. And today, so for the next 20 or so minutes, what we're going to be doing is talking about your rules for life. All of us have had certain experiences that have dictated how we go through our day-to-days, whether it's in business or in our personal life. And in honor of Bethany's 10 rules for getting the most out of life or getting everything you want out of life. We're going to be talking about what your rules are for the next 20 minutes. Also talking a little bit about Bethany. So if you're watching live, make sure that you check in in the chat. Tell us who you are, if you're in Bootstrap Book Club, um, if you've read the book, and what you do for business so that we can really get some networking in this Monday morning. Uh, so the fun thing about Bootstrap Book Club is that we're all bootstrappers, right? We're young female entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. It's mainly young women. So YFE took over Bootstrap Book Club from the Kickstart Kitchen Ladies, which dissolved their business recently and each are doing their own thing. And so we're very honored to take on... um, or to continue their legacy with um, with continuing the book club. But the the last two books, I've um, kind of continued what they've done with other hosts, right? So um, two hosts at a time have led a discussion about a book. And I've actually never hosted the book. And so I thought, okay, Jen, this is a good opportunity for you to host a book, figure out what best practices are, what make people really discuss things, and what we can do to make sure that everyone's getting the most out of the book club. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to host A Place of Yes. The reason why we're reading A Place of Yes, because I did not even put that up for a vote in the book club, is because it's kind of an interim book. Um, summer's winding down, and I know you guys are all really busy with personal stuff and with with business and so it's our interim book i'm going to be hosting it and we're going to start voting for our next book soon um and i don't know there's something about bootstrap book club that's always really fun because it's all around someone else's word another expert someone that's already been through this and so a place of yes is uh bethany frankel it's a book by her and uh she wrote it um it's like she said like i said earlier it's 10 rules for getting the most out of life or getting everything you want out of life i think is what the subtitle is to her type to the book and um around that the discussion is going to be really neat so for all of you tuesday morning um okay so what you're showing on right now hold on don't show that yet (laughs) tuesday morning tomorrow morning we're going to show um a discussion in bootstrap book club so make sure that you join and the, tomorrow's question, just for all of you that are sh- that are showing up live this morning, the question is going to be around advice that you would give another young woman. Um, and you'll find out more tomorrow morning. It's going to be really fun. I'm very excited for the discussion. Um, a lot of women bring in their past experiences, and you get to learn a lot about your fellow young female entrepreneurs and also kind of learn from their experiences as well. I'm very much a believer in peer-to-peer mentorship, and that's exactly what Bootstrap Book Club does. So for everyone that's live today, this is really important that you hear this. So if you're watching live on Monday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, we are giving away three books. So because this is all about you and your rules for life, we're going to give away Bethany's um, Skinny Girl Solutions or A Place of Yes. You can decide which one you want. And the way that you win it is you're one of our first three call-ins. So when you call in, you're just going to share either one or a few rules to life. So, for example, in Bootstrap Book Club yesterday, what I said my rule for life is to always have uh, a bottle of champagne chilling because you never know when you need to celebrate or when you're having a crummy day and just need a bottle of champagne. Um, So, uh, with that being said, how you win it, um, again, the first three callers, all you have to do is call 855 Four one five four yfe Now, it's really easy. You call, someone's going to pick up the phone, and then you're not going to go on right away, so don't worry about it. Um, you'll call and just tell us who you are so you get to plug your book, and then tell us, like I said, one or so rules for life. Really easy. I would love, love if there's a past book club host. If you guys are watching, call in. I'd love to feature your businesses because this video is going to be recorded and replayed on YouTube, and we'll make sure that we share it. So again, um, going back to Bootstrap Book Club and what it is that we're reading with it, um, A Place of Yes, like I was saying, is uh, by Bethany Frankel. And Bethany, a lot of you know her um, from Real Housewives of New York City or um, Bethany Getting Married, something like that. But she also has a talk show coming up on September 9th. Um, really cool and so we're in the spirit of her talk show and Bethany. Today's Bootstrap Book Club kickoff is um, everything on the table, no no holding back type of a deal. And that's really what her talk show is about. So I'm very excited about her talk show on the 9th. 
And the reason why I'm excited is because Bethany is a role model for young women. So one of the reasons why I always ask you guys to Instagram things, to tag things with YFE chat, is because it shows other women that this is possible. It's something that other that a lot of you are doing. And I think the more we see people doing cool things, the more women we see, the more we're able to say, okay, I, I can see it, I can believe it, I can do it. Bethany talks a lot about that in a place of yes, the idea that you believe you can do something, you're mo- more if you believe you can do something, you're more likely to actually do it. So, or to take action and make it happen. So, um, with that being said, uh, make sure that you're <laughs> tweeting out YFE chat. Uh, Shayna M. Boston saying she loves Be- Bethany Frankel on the chat. And I feel like a lot of us do, right? So she's got this talk show. She's making it happen. She's also been on the cover of countless magazines, right? She's been on Forbes. She's been on Us Weekly. She's been on um, all sorts of places. So we've all seen, seen her on the Gossip Magazines. And I like this idea of us uh, reading A Place of Yes versus reading, you know, like a gossip celebrity magazine uh, with Bethany on the covers because we get both, you know, the guilty pleasure of us um, actually getting to to hear the behind the scenes of Bethany's life. Um, But we also get some business inspiration too at the same time. Um, On... On that note, though, some of the things that Bethany goes through in the book is really personal. She talks about her marriage. um, She talks about being a mom. She talks about some of her past relationships. If you've already read the first two chapters or the first two rules, you'll know a lot of it was about her childhood and about relationships. And it's interesting because I've always been married to the same, or I've been married almost 10 years now. We got married young and we dated through high school. And so the relationship part about past boyfriends wasn't so much, um, so as relevant to me. I know for a lot of young women it will be. But what I did look at it as examining past relationships as far as friendships or or um, or business, you know, partnerships, that type of a thing. And it was really, um, it was really helpful, I guess. So that's the first two pieces. And it's interesting to look back now because she wrote it a few years ago, right? Oh yeah, thank you, Storm BCL. <laughs> 10 years, um, not yet, not yet. I'm not that, we didn't marry that young. Um, but so it's interesting to look back. She wrote it a few years ago when she was still happily married. Um, and now she's going through a divorce process. And she's had to be really open to the public about it because not only is she being covered in the gossip magazines, but she was also on reality TV. That's how we know her is because we saw her get married. We saw her have a baby. In fact, watching her have a baby on uh, Bethany getting married, I don't know if any of you had kids at that time, but that was part of how I learned how to like give, be pregnant and go into labor was through Bethany's reality show. I remember watching it and being like nine months pregnant, kind of freaking out. So, um, so with that being said, you know, she's going through this divorce and I think what's admirable is that she, um, she is still very public about it, right? So she went on Ellen, um, and I think I have a couple screen captures of that. She went on Ellen and said, hey, this is me. This is really hard time in my life. And I, she even said, you know, I, I feel guilty because I feel like that um, people don't believe in love or they don't believe in this fairy tale. And uh, so anyway, I have a lot of respect for her in that sense and that she's really open about her life and she owns up to her mistakes. And that's a common thread within the book is examining your past, looking at your mistakes, but leaving it in the past and moving on. Um, she t- says, uh, take some and leave some. Um, I think she has a different way of saying that in the book, but it's really interesting. So anyway, Bethany, I think for a lot of, for myself and hopefully for a lot of you is definitely a role model. And so I'm excited to dive into this. So um, before I talk too much longer, cause I could keep going on and on and on. Um, we've got Chrissy on the phone of Davison, Michigan. Chrissy, is this Indie Biz Chicks, Chrissy? Yeah. Hi, Chrissy. Hopefully everyone can hear Chrissy. Thank you so much for calling in. You win a book. <laughs> I feel like I Oprah. Right. You win a book. You win a book. <laughs> um, so, Chrissy, what's one of your rules for life? I know we're going to be sharing your um, your Twitter image shortly, but before we do, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do, um, if you're a bootstrapper, if you've read the book, that type of thing. Um, well, I read I read a little bit of, of the book in the actual print form, and then last night I bought the Audible version so I can kind of listen to it when I'm doing other stuff around the house. The best um, but I've been, 
What's that? I love listening to Audible. I totally agree. Um, and by the way, everyone, if you're listening, audibletrial.com forward slash Ovali. If you want to support Bootstrap Book Club, you can actually get the book for free if you haven't gotten it yet. So, and I'm sorry, Chrissy, I totally interrupted you. <laughs> so the oh, Audible, no, no, so you've got fine, Audible. Um, so are, how are you no. liking the book so far? Are you, are you a self-help kind of girl? Or are you, is it a little weird for you? Well, I, I like some of it. Some of some of the stuff out there is a little, you know, airy fairy. Um, but Bethany is not. I mean, it's real and it's practical and it's not. Um, well, you know what I'm talking about. Some of the stuff is just a little airy fairy. Um, some of those some of those help stuff. But um, I've been following Bethany for for years and years, and you know, I think that she is just a great example of of the things that you talk about every week. Um, you know, back before Real Housewives of New York, I mean, she was doing YouTube videos, and you had Amanda Russell on, you know, last week talking about YouTube videos, and, and you know, the stuff that we talk about every week is the stuff that Bethany's done. You know, it wasn't an overnight success. She worked her butt off for, for what she's got. I think that's funny that you mentioned um, Amanda yet last week with YouTube and um, how that is one of the beauties about Bethany as she is she's very relatable and she's been open about showing all of us what that looks like and I think it there is some okay I'm going to gear off a little bit but it's really important that we show others what we're going through in that same sense because it's something that we can see Bethany we can see that she went through we can see how all roads led to Rome like she says in the book and it gives us hope and inspiration I feel like all of us that are in the thick of things when we share things we show pictures we show videos we tweet we network with people I feel like it helps all of us kind of move forward just a little bit and I'm very grateful to people like Bethany like you said that have shown us that and it's funny because I did research last night on this um, mm-hmm. And I did. I Googled Bethany on YouTube. If you Google, like, Bethany 2007 or you put a year to it, you can see her old school YouTube videos. You're so right, Chrissy. And it's it's just, it's awesome to see, like, she was just like us. She's just trying to get started. And she went through a number of different businesses before she hit the skinny girl empire. And it's refreshing to see. So with that being said, Chrissy, what, what are some rules that you live your own life by? Um, maybe that you've seen Bethany do, that you relate to, or that you just, after, you know, your years of experience, you say, this is, this is how I go my, through my day to day. Well, the, the thing that I tweeted out is that you do need to know what's important and what's not important and just let the unimportant stuff go. But um, another thing, and I think this is probably the most important thing any entrepreneur can do, is you really have to get out there and believe in yourself and market yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. And, you know, if you, going back to what we were just saying, if you watch season one of Real Housewives, which was being filmed before anyone really knew who she was. I mean, she was on Martha Stewart Apprentice, but, you know, she was in grocery stores trying to sell her product, which back then was Bethany Bakes, and people were walking by. They didn't care. They and they just walked right by her, and you see her go through that. And now she walks into a supermarket, she'd be mobbed. Um, so, you know, she has started out, and she's persisted, and she did what she had to do to get her name out there, and that's what we all have to do. I like that. And it's so true. And I had one of your tweets scheduled to show um, soon, and we'll make sure that we still show it, Chrissy. But thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate it. Make sure that you stay on the line so that, um, yeah, that's actually it, Chrissy. So Chrissy says on Twitter, make sure you guys all follow her. She's got a lot of great tweets, at Indie Biz Chicks. Um, It says here, delegate and let the unimportant stuff go. And I think you're so right in that we actually saw Bethany do that. It wasn't her just saying you know, this is my advice for you. We saw on the reality television show that she actually did that, and we read it in the book, too. So I think that's awesome. So, Chrissy, thank you so much. Thanks for talking to me. And one more time, where can we find you online? Um, Everything is IndieBizChicks.com. You can find all the links from everything, you know, social media from there, but the main site is IndieBizChicks.com. It's an awesome resource. So, Chrissy, don't hang up. Make sure that you give us your, your information so we can give you the free book. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. All right. So we were just talking to Chrissy about her rules for life and her takes for insight from Bethany. Um, And again, so that was caller one. We still have two more books to give away uh, to you guys. And so you'll just have to hang tight for just a second while we get uh, Chrissy's information if you're on hold. We promise to get to your phone call. Uh, Make sure you call in, though, because you get either a place of yes 
or Skinny Girl Solutions. So if you're in Bootstrap Book Club, that means a free book for you to get started with A Place of Yes. And plus, it's always fun to get mail. So make sure that you call in and give us your rules for life and give us your insight, maybe how you first started following Bethany, etc. So I just wanted to say hi to a few people that are in the chat. Um, hi, Phyllis. Hi, Shayna. Hi. And then it's LP Fashionista. Oh, Le Petite Fashionista. Oh my gosh, I follow you on Instagram. I love your stuff. So recently, YFE has... Um, I've really been making it a, a mission of mine to follow more people uh, on Instagram and to see what you guys are doing. Because again, something about actually seeing, um, it's like with Bethany and the reality TV, when you're watching it happen and you're seeing what people go through in day to day, the nice thing about Instagram and reality TV is that there's editors, <laughs> there's filters, so it all looks a little bit better, but it's still so much fun to see what all of you guys are going through. And then, oh, uh, at Nick LeBlonde, um, we're actually going to be showing one of her uh, rules for life shortly. But she also, if you guys can follow her on Twitter, so much fun. Uh, she does, is it like cabaret Pilates or fitness? I don't know, but I really want it to come up to the Seattle area because it looks very cool. So, um, everyone, thank you so much for showing up live. Like I said, make sure that you're on hold now. 855-415-4YFE. Call. Um, just pick up your iPhone. I know we don't use the phone that often as YFEs, but call and tell us your rules for life. So before we take another caller, I wanted, of course, to show what people are saying. We asked you on Instagram. If you do follow us, our Instagram handle is at YFEntrepreneur. Entrepreneur is always kind of like a tricky thing to spell if you don't spell it every day. <laughs> so um, at YF Entrepreneur um, is our is our username on Instagram, and so we asked you guys what your rules for life are, and we had a couple people comment. Um, the first one I want to show is at the Stacy Harris, who is definitely a friend of YFE Chat. Let's see if we can um, put Stacy's up there. It's one of the first little quotes. Um, and so Stacy talks about kind of in the same light of what um, Chrissy was saying and delegating and, and leaving behind what's unimportant. She says that family takes a priority for her and being mindful of each moment. I really like that too because at the Stacey Harris, if you follow her on Instagram, again, the pictures of her life to see what she actually does day to day, just like Bethany on the reality show, she really does live out that rule for life. You see her riding... Um, bikes with her son, taking her son to school. I know that's a big value for hers is that she's able to be at home with her kids. Um, so make sure that you follow at the Stacey Harris and let me know if you agree in the comments. You know, if you're watching this later, comment and let us know what your rules for life are. And of course, still call in 855-415-4YFE. I'll give you a free book. That's how much I want to talk to you. It was so much fun talking to Chrissy. So it's just, it's neat to put a voice to the name and hear a little bit more than 140 characters from you guys. So call in um, again, 855-415-4YFE or 4933. It's really easy to call in. Um, so, and don't be scared too. Like I said, you're not going live right away. So our next um, Instagram that I wanted to show is from Kristen Runvik at Kristen Runvik. Again, if you guys don't follow her, she's full of inspiration. This woman... Um, she's all about uh, giving back, sharing with others, and she shares so much on Instagram, very inspirational. So her rules for life, she shared five of them to us, but it's all encompassing. Again, it's just so cool to see people's rules for life and then um, see it through images on Instagram. And so she really does leave, live these. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Surround yourself with those who lift you up. Bethany talks a lot about this in her book, so you guys are going to be really excited to hear about that because you also get to see some like behind the scenes stuff as far as Real Housewives go. Um, number four is love always. I love that one. I have actually, for those of you that are watching live, <laughs> I have love tattooed on my wrist and people used to always give me crap about it and be like, oh, is that because you love your husband? Um, but it was, I mean, I do love my husband, <laughs> but I got it because the idea to always remember to come from love. And it's so funny now that all of um, that's like a trendy thing now at, um, Gabrielle Bernstein's Miracles. Um, I read her book and that's all about, you know, coming from love. And I, I just think that's really cool. So anyway, Kristen Runvik, thank you so much for giving us your, your rules to live by. Um, and of course her last one was just like, Stacy, be mindful. And Bethany talks so much about this in a place of yes. Um, that's a common theme, the idea of focus noise, food noise, the idea that you can lose, you know, yourself and your thoughts and that there's so many outside influences that come in. 
So um, again, really cool book that I think all of you will, will enjoy if you haven't started reading it yet. And then our last Instagram I wanted to show is at Jackie M. Jensen. She's YFE Vegas tech host. Actually, her podcast, if you guys search for Young Female Entrepreneurs, you'll see both YFE Chat and YFE Vegas Tech up there. Um, she's got a live webcast on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific here on YFELive.com. Make sure you guys check that out. She's a fantastic resource to know. She says that she has she doesn't do email before breakfast. That's her role for life that she just started and she loves. And I think that's a great one. Again, talking about the common theme of mindfulness and noise. Uh, when you, If you open up your email in the morning and see angry clients or, or a bunch of junk mail or you know see somebody maybe that you don't love and that's the way you <laughs> start your morning off, it's a crummy way to start your morning off. So I like that rule. I think that's a fantastic one. So thank you, Jackie M. Jensen. Make sure you guys follow her. Again, she's a great resource if you want to know more about what's happening down in Las Vegas, Tony Shea's Downtown Vegas Project. She's part of it. So it's kind of cool to see what you read about in magazines actually play out. All right. So before we get into Jules, um, Jules Taggart, who was one of the founders of Bootstrap Book Club that we uh, young female entrepreneurs recently took over, we asked Jules what her her rules for life is. And um, she's going to share a few of them shortly over video. But before we um, bring Jules up, I want to remind you, if you haven't gotten a place of yes, make sure you go to audibletrial.com forward slash Ovali. You get a free audiobook there. Um, again, if you call in, <laughs> you get a free a place of yes. And I love talking to you guys. I'm, I promise it's not scary. If there's some coffee shop noise in there too, the more the merrier. Um, also a place of yes or skinny girl solutions by the way so if you already have a place of yes we'll send you the other book because I, I understand a lot of you have already purchased it so um let's talk to Jules or hear from Jules and see what her rules for life are because they're pretty good hi my name is Jules Tagger and I am the founder of amp and pivot and here are my three rules rule number one no dicks allowed there are tons of people to work with out there. And so when you start working for yourself, even if you're just working for yourself part time, make it a point to not allow dicks into your life. And if that means clients, find other clients. If that means collaboration partners, there are plenty of people out there that want to collaborate with you that you will love working with. So no dicks allowed. Number two is read more fiction. So I spend a lot of time reading business books. I'm sure you guys do too. And I know it's important. We need to learn as much as we can so that we can help our clients and grow our business. But any time that I get to spend reading fiction is always time well spent. I learn a ton. I get great ideas for blog posts and great ideas for new products and services too. And the third rule for life is break everyone else's rules except your own. Figure out what you're going to stick hard and fast to and never, ever deviate from that. And if it means that you have to say no to somebody else's rules, then that's how that rolls. So those are my three rules for life. I'm Jules Taggart from Amp and Pivot, and uh, thanks. All right, so if you guys haven't followed Jules yet, she is at ampandpivot.com. Her blog posts are epic. So you guys have to make sure that you subscribe to her blog post so you can read them. She's also at Jules Taggart, T-A-G-G-A-R-T on Twitter. She's always fun to talk to. Um, she, as you can probably tell from the video, she's got a funny voice. <laughs> so it's always entertaining to follow her. So um, make sure that you do that over there. And again, one more time, call in 855-4154-YFE or 4154-933. Um, Again, I promise it's not scary to talk on the phone. Tell us about your business. Talking about Bethany, actually, this is a great one. Self-promotion, always make everything your business. Call in and promote yourself and let other YFEs know who you are and what you do. Um, so with that being said, I think one of the other things that I want to, before I forget, uh, at, at Indie Biz Chicks or Chrissy talked about um, that Bethany. So last Thursday on YFE Chat Live, if, it, if you haven't watched it before, it's a live show that we bring on someone for an interview. And we have the same chat that we're doing right now. Amanda Russell was our guest, and she's a YouTuber that she didn't want to just be a YouTuber. She was using that to to fuel her business, the greater her greater um, vision for business. Um, she was an athlete, an Olympic trained athlete who got injured and um, became a trainer and and also got her MBA and had big hopes for a lot of different things that she's all that's all come into play. Um, it's been very exciting to follow her. But anyway, she started with these YouTube videos. And like Chrissy said, um, Bethany did the same thing. And like she was saying, it used to be Bethany Bakes. 
And that's another thing that I just feel like a lot of young women can relate to. It's okay if this current business doesn't work out or maybe you made mistakes, learn from them, take some, leave some, and then move on. Um, but if you look back and you, like I said, you go on YouTube and you Google something like Bethany Frankel 2007 or Bethany Frankel 2008, you can see some of her past videos. If you watch her on Martha Stewart Apprentice, that's kind of like where she got her big cable TV type of a debut. Um, you can see a change in her voice. It's really interesting. So Apprentice, she was kind of quieter, less like loud, especially the first few episodes. And then um, you see her on The Real Housewives. And even if you watch the first episode of Real Housewives, which I did last night, um, and then you watch Bethany's uh, Bethany Getting Married, her voice changes so much. And I don't know if that's just her gaining confidence or if that's her playing for her certain situation. She's always wanted to be an actress, and I think there is some merit in, in business to have a different voice for different situations. Um, it's really interesting. And also Google, she did a talk at Google. You guys have to look at that one too, and I think that's really interesting. She talked about one of her first books, um, uh, Naturally Skinny or something like that. I forget exactly what the title was. But she talks about... Um, the Real Housewives, first of all. She's like, I don't, you guys don't care about this book. She gives people what they want. So there's a lot of lessons in, in Googling Bethany on, or uh, searching on YouTube for her past videos. I really like it. So anyway, one more call. This is your last chance to get a free book and promote your business because I promise people are going to be watching this. A lot of people are watching now and then it goes to YouTube too. So it's a great opportunity for you to promote your business. So with that being said, um, let's do a few more of the Twitter rules for life, and then I'll let you guys go because I know Mondays are a busy day for everyone. Thank you so much for showing up live and kicking off our Bootstrap Book Club book. If you haven't joined the book club yet, go to yfe.me forward slash bootstrap books. Um, we'll approve you really fast, or you can go to yfe.me forward slash new dash yes and find out more about Bootstrap Book Club. Our schedule is that we start. Um, you can show we have a couple. There's a downloadable image, too, if you want to save that or print it out. There's a couple um, things in there. But Tuesday, um, tomorrow, we do rules one and two. Uh, on Saturday is our next discussion, and it's going to be rules three and four. So you don't have to read that much, and especially if you're listening to it on Audible, it goes by really fast, and you can listen to it on the treadmill, on a walk, or when, like Chrissy was saying, when you're doing little things around the house. It's really nice because also Bethany's voice is just really, I don't know, there's something about her voice that you kind of stop and listen or you make sure that you pay attention to. So, um, yeah, just, again, you can call 855-415-4YFE. I'll give you a free book. And if a man answers, it's our producer. <laughs> so don't freak out. <laughs> uh, that happens usually. People will be like, um, did I call the right number? <laughs> so the producer, what? And he's going to be, a, he's a dude. Call 855-415-4YFE. I promise he won't bite. Uh, so let's go and talk about the Twitter ones. Um, at Indie Biz Chicks, she was just on with us. And she was talking to us about uh, delegating. Um, Bethany talks a lot about this in her book. Even from the very beginning, she always had an assistant which I think is interesting if you see Real Housewives in New York City. Uh, she, at the very beginning, she has an assistant come in, and it's like her cramped apartment in New York City. And then later on, you can see a skinny girl. I mean, skinny girl was um, acquired for millions and millions and millions of dollars. And yet, when we saw it, it was her and, like, three people around a desk in her house. So, um yeah, she's always been delegating, and you don't have to delegate on the sense of that you have to have someone else, but you can still find ways to delegate in your life, I feel like. So thanks, Chrissy, for that one. And then our next one is from at Nick LeBond, and that's N-I-C-L-A-B-O-N-D-E. Uh, she is the, and I think this one's very fitting for her, hustle is muscle, work it out. So <laughs> she's the one that does the cabaret fitness, the Pilates piece. So make sure that you guys follow her on Twitter or follow her on Instagram because, like I said, it's really, really fun to see those images. So um, with all of that being said, because I know we talked a lot. We talked for 30 minutes. And thank you all so much for showing up live. I really appreciate it. Like I was saying, um, yeah, <laughs> Shana M. Boston is saying assistance for, you know, slash delegating are my favorite words. 
So I know a lot of you guys are taking up that practice already. Um, hopefully this was helpful and hopefully this will make you want to pick up the book and actually start reading and discussing it with us. Like I was saying, tomorrow's, um, tomorrow's question, let me pull it up so we can see what our question is for tomorrow. Um, it is, if you go actually to our Trello board, you can see all of these, these are all public. Um, and I'll, I'll link it up on Bootstrap Book Club so you guys can see, you can actually see what all of our questions are, they're all planned. Um, tomorrow's question, I'll give you guys in advance so you can start thinking about it, is what advice would you give young women who are trying to figure out what is true for them and what they want out of life? Not just what their parents want, or your boyfriend, or old, old college roommates. So um, it's gonna be a really fun discussion. Hopefully you guys will join us at, um, like I said, yfe.me forward slash bootstrap books wednesday we've got a live webcast with jacqueline jensen at 4 p.m pacific here on yfelive.com again that's vegas tech if you go to itunes and search for young female entrepreneurs you can find her podcast if you guys could rate and comment that would help us out so much you'd actually help those um, women that are being featured get promoted a little bit more on itunes um, and then also on thursday we have another yfe chat live at 6 p.m pacific 9 eastern and then the following week on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 Eastern, we're doing a YFE NYC, and that's Marissa Vicario. She is the YFE City Coordinator in New York City. Um, she has a huge group that's very engaged, and they're going to be on here. You're all welcome to come. Um, she's going to be talking about customer experience with an expert, so you can find out more by clicking on the little link on yfelive.com that's over there, or going to ticketcake.com, which is Jacqueline Jensen's company. This has been Jennifer Dono with YoungFemaleEntrepreneurs.com. I'm also going to be the host of Bootstrap Book Club's A Place of Yes discussion uh, by Bethany Frankel. I'm thrilled to be able to talk about this. Like I said, it's one of my favorite books. I first picked it up when I um, when my son was turning one, and it was at kind of a weird stage in my life. And I've since then read it almost every, like, six months. It's a fantastic book to pick up. Um, again, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow morning for our first discussion question. If you need anything in the meantime, email j at youngfemaleentrepreneurs.com. Again, Jennifer Dono with Young Female Entrepreneurs. I'll see you around.